Are you worried that you're going to get bored talking about the same thing over and over again? Maybe you already are. Or maybe you're worried that your ideal client is going to get tired of hearing the same topics from you each time they engage with your content. Or maybe you sit down to create some content and you feel uninspired and you're staring at the blank page. If so, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to avoid getting bored with your message. Hi, I'm Carrie Price, the brand messaging coach that helps you make your message roar. And I actually hear this worry from a lot of people, from my clients that I work with directly to people that I'm just encountering out there trying to put out their marketing content. And they're worried that they're going to get bored with their message. Be honest, have you ever felt that way? Tell me in the comments if you've ever worried that you're gonna get tired of talking about the same content over and over again. Let's start by identifying the main reasons why you might be feeling bored. And the biggest reason that this happens to most people is because they don't have a messaging framework developed that is going to allow them to create endless content. Maybe you have your ideal client avatar identified or even the inklings of a tagline but that's not enough to build marketing content from. But even if you feel comfortable that you know who it is that you're speaking to and you have a tagline, something that you think is catchy that's going to be memorable, that's just not enough building blocks to work from. Have you defined everything that you believe in about what you do? Are you really clear about who you are, what you do, who you serve, and why anyone should care about that? And have you shaped your entire business around this messaging foundation? If not, you're working with a very small box of information to build your content around, and it's no wonder you're feeling bored and uninspired. I personally can create content on almost any topic. I've created valuable messaging related content based on books I'm reading, movies I've seen, even my mouse. Um, and in fact, one of my clients inside my signature program, Messaging Mastery the Foundation, she said to me, dang it, Carrie, I can't stop creating content ideas. Like I have more content ideas than I even know what to do with. And that was before she dove into the 30 days of content prompts that roar. All my clients are loving it. And so many of my clients are overflowing with content ideas now. But there is a difference between feeling bored and being boring. You might feel bored if you don't have a full messaging foundation in place, but that you can totally fix. But being boring is not okay. Boring is plain, it's not memorable, and it doesn't add any value to your market, to your ideal client, the person that you're trying to reach. You need to show up with a message that roars, one that is relatable, one of a kind, actionable and reliable every single time. And you won't be bored if you dive into the framework and you build all the elements that are going to really help you see the world through the lens of your message and give you all the building blocks that make that content creation easier. But here's the thing, your ideal client won't be bored with the content that you're putting out there, with the message that you're sharing, if you're talking about things that they care about if you are sharing valuable information that they need to hear from you. Now, I work with clients implementing a lot of different marketing funnels, but let me ask you this. When you're looking at the whole client journey, right? Everything from the first post that somebody might encounter from you to the email sequence that warms them up after they've opted in for your freebie. Maybe you're driving them to a webinar or a challenge or to a call. And are you worried that all that content's gonna sound exactly the same to them and that they're gonna think like, yeah, yeah, you're just saying the same thing over and over again? Tell me, have you ever felt that way? I really wanna know. I hear this concern all the time. Here's the thing though, 
People need to hear the same message on average seven to 10 times before it really starts sinking in, before they really hear it. Now with a really strong message that's super memorable, you might be able to shorten that a little bit, but let's just go with the average, okay? An average of seven to 10 times. By the way, as much content as we're putting out there, social media, email, uh, videos, whatever it is that we're doing, as much as we would love to believe that people are consuming all of our content, they're not. So even if you are putting out 10 pieces of really amazing content, your audience isn't consuming all 10. So you need to be putting out even more content that is consistent, that is reliable, so that when they encounter you, it positions you as the expert that they come to trust. Your ideal client wants to remember you. They're tired of the sea of sameness that they're hearing everybody talking about the same things. They are looking for the expert, the thought leader, to step up and help them get the results that they are desperately seeking. And when they hear that consistent, reliable message from you, they're going to start thinking, oh yeah, I remember that. It's starting to make sense. And if you're worried about feeling bored with your own message, or worse yet, you, you're wondering if maybe you're on the edge of boring and it's not resonating with your audience, make sure that you get on the wait list to learn more about my four-part framework to make your message roar. You can go to carryprice.com slash waitlist to get notified about that. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching.